July the 17th, 2019. Guys, a very quick update. It's been a long day, and I want to keep it short. But we have a lot of friends on the uh, West Coast, and the earthquake activity is definitely picking up. You've got a 5.4 off of uh, Bandon, Oregon, guys. It was 10 kilometers deep. And a lot of times, if it's offshore, that's just kind of a standard number they use. But uh, not only that, Fiji's acting up. The new quake here that has just popped up is a uh, 5.4, uh, 251 kilometers north northwest of Puerto Oyo. Again, 10 kilometers. That's an offshore thing. But guys, along the San Andreas in that area, this 4.4, which is 10 kilometers northeast of Cozo Junction, California, that one and the one here, again, off Bandon, Oregon, concerned me the most because I mentioned yesterday that these quakes were moving further south into that Greylock Fault, and then from there it connects right into the San Andreas. But again, guys, just the activity is picking up. We've got some increased solar activity that's going to be coming in the next few days. We're slightly elevated at 441 kilometers per second on our solar wind, which should be around 320 for normals. But again, the uh, Japan quake 4.8 coming south of the uh, Bering Sea in uh, Nikolovsky, Alaska 4.2. And here's where you start getting into trouble. This particular section south of Alaska and into Alaska directly affects when you see pressure in this bend then you start seeing things like this and this guy's abandoned Oregon is part of Cascadia and let's quickly pull up the uh, map of California you can see here if we just look at the 2.5 plus earthquakes in the last 24 hours that it doesn't look like that many but I'm going to change this and it's important to adjust your uh, settings on your USGS earthquake map. And I've changed this to one day, all magnitudes. It's important when you're having swarms. And you've had 738 aftershocks here in this area, guys. Some of your large ones, 4.4, northeast of Coso. But guys, it's moving down. And if we change this map slightly to our U.S. faults right here. Then this movement down into this fault, again the Garlock Fault, it moves straight into the San Andreas Fault here. So when you've got pressure building up here, coming around the ring of fire, and it usually moves clockwise. But this right here, guys, the 5.4 there, is key. You can see it lighting up around the planet. If you look down south, you've got a... Uh, 5.1 here, 5.1. This area is getting very active. And we know that the scientists are saying this is locked and loaded. This is not a, a fear um, porn video, guys. This is a heads up video. And you see the aftershocks here in Alaska. Notice that, and if you pay attention to this for the last few years with our channel, these large bends, like right here, between the Sea of Utask, which is, you're talking about Kamchatka, Russia, and the Bering Sea, these bend points are pressure points. So when you start seeing pressure here, you'll notice that these quakes in Alaska start building up, and that will eventually transfer energy this way, and many times into Yellowstone. Right now, guys, I just want, again, a quick video. It's been... A long day. Thank you guys for watching all the live streams, trying to come in and out. Right now, we are moving into very important times in this nation. So you're going to see a change in this channel, probably a lot of others. But guys, it's all about uh, watching, taking care of the people, and watching out for our nation. Guys, it's a heads up. Be safe.